I am beyond excited today because I'm going to make the shower tray a DIY walk-in shower. It's really exciting. It's exciting because I've waited for that moment for a long time. Step one is connecting the drain with the waste pipe. And I prepared my little pieces here. So we have a... Does it come with instructions? Oh yes. It comes with instructions. And I'm gonna read the instructions. I'm gonna film me reading the instructions so nobody can say I haven't read the instructions. Oh, it's too complicated. So this is gonna sit in here. The drain obviously has to be in the middle of the future shower tray. Uh, the technique I'm using to find the middle of the shower tray is called uh, measuring. Measuring. Um, it's an ancient technique. So I'm measuring. So this is, let's say, this is the virtual end of the shower tray. 94. 94. Look, we can write here 94 so we know that this is 94. 94 divided by 2. 46. 130. That's an easy one. That's 65. There was a Gleitmittel für Gummidichtungen. Well, this is translation is... Uh, Gleitmittel für Rubberdichtungen, which I think is Dutch. Ooh, it's definitely slippery. Last time I used this kind of material. Ah, doesn't matter. It's good. Doing a good job. I need to create a pipe from here to here. When you work with race pipes, you want about one centimeter per meter slope. And for non-metric people, that should be the equivalent of one stone per elbow. Not, not deep enough yet. Oh, that's perfect. Now we can measure the distance in between here. Here. And 34. 34.5. I put this in here. To be 100% sure, I'm going to use this measuring device. I put it here. You can see there's definitely a slope. So it ended up being two centimeters too far there. And that's because, I, I don't know, Philip, because Philip. Now is this done? We need to find out how high we need to go with our shower tray. And for that, we need to slide this into here. This is the highest point of the drain. So from here, the tray will go this way up slightly like this. And it's the same ratio as for a pipe. It's one centimeter per meter. As long as it shows any sort of um, slope here, it's fine. It's, it's nine, eight centimeters from the floor. So, so I want to go down at least one centimeter from the line. One centimeter lower than this. Now you see I drew a line all around, exactly one centimeter underneath my laser level. I just measured it. Why is it doing this now? Can you hear this? I don't know. Okay, I found a better piece of wood. It also gives me a second chance to cut it in the right dimensions. Ooh, 
I can feel it already. Oh, that's much better. Oh, I could just get rid of the glue in the floor. Whatever glue this is, it's easier to cut into the wood and take the wood off underneath than the glue. It's like concrete glue or something. So I'm going to stop here because I know how much Anna loves doing this. So I don't want to take all the fun out for her. All nice and clean. So now it sits much better. I'm now tracing the straight line here to be in line with this one. Mark this line here. So. So with this done, I can go to step five, which is screwing this into the, into the floor. Uh, let me clean up here first. Can you see these massive screws? Good. Almost perfect getting there. So the next step is interesting because we're going to protect this floor with a plastic sheet. But before I forget about this one, I also want to cover this hole. Good. This is to make it watertight. Not for the shower, just for the concrete or the mortar that we pour here for now. And it doesn't need to be super watertight. You just, it's gonna be wet and you don't wanna get the floor wet or the walls wet unnecessarily. So before pouring mortar, we protect it. Now that the preparation is done, we're starting with the rather exciting part of filling it with water. This is, this is a good consistency. We don't want it too wet. We want to make sure that this stays in place. And for that, really not the right tool. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. That looks good. That looks really nice now. This is a very big shower tray and if you would fill this up with mortar, the whole thing would become very heavy. But I came up with a very good idea using some leftover materials from our uh, renovation upstairs. And that's this material. The French is called vermiculite. In English it's probably called vermiculite, which admittedly sounds a little bit like an STD you would contract if you engage in an unholy fashion with a pangolin. But it's a really good material because it's very lightweight. And I'm going to mix it together with the mortar for the lower layers of this filling here. And that should give me a much lighter mass. And I finish up with a normal mortar on the top.
So I filled more than half of the shower tray with my secret mix and I'm pleased how it looks. And I barely used one of these uh, buckets of water and one and a half bags of mortar. It would have been certainly four bags of mortar if I wouldn't have used these little grains and it would have been much heavier. Now I want to give it strength for the last four or five centimeters. I just sent Anna to get three more of these bags. They're 25 kilograms each, so they're very heavy. So it's only fair that Anna goes, she's younger than me. I could get uh, age-related back pain if I would carry them, and then we would all lose. So Anna came back with the bags, but for some reason she asked me to carry them upstairs, and now I do have back pain, which means that uh, I will complain for the rest of the day. Now we need to create the perfect slope here with a special trick. A stick that is exactly the length in between here and here. So you don't want it longer than this, so we're going to cut this. So here we definitely have a bit too much, so we're scratching it off. I love that, I love that face. It's so obvious and easy. So, we will need that somewhere else. We need that down here. Same from this side, starting here. If this is not satisfying, I don't know what's satisfying. For me, at least it's very satisfying. We carefully take it off. There's this guy here, and fit it in here. I'm tired and done and happy. Wow, look at that. You've done a great job. It looks like a shower. I can just imagine myself taking a shower. I mean, it's almost done, right? It's almost done. It just needs the, you need to make it watertight. That's, yeah. That's going to be next week's job. Mm -hmm. Equally exciting and fun to do. I mean, it, it doesn't look like a huge change, but the fact that you put that in. Yeah, because you haven't seen all the stages I went through to come to this point. Yeah. Do you see it has a, it has a nice slope and a regular slope on each side? Yeah, I'm very impressed. With the slope. Yeah, you've done a great slope. A great slope, thank you. And I've had uh, second thoughts about the niche. Okay. Because last week there was a lot of people commenting about maybe having a niche here on this wall, oh, on this wall. Okay. Um, because it's true that it's not really nice visually to see bottles unless you have really nice fancy shampoo and conditioner. But if you had it here, then you wouldn't see it. But I think the main issue is this wall is too thin to make a niche. 
Yes. So it's going to be a really thin niche if you want a niche there. Yeah, we should have kind of thought about that. Well, we, we didn't have that much space. It was already tight. It's true. The problem is the space, yeah. I think, even though I like the idea of having a niche there. We no, can make we'll, a nice niche. We'll still make... go for the niche here. Yeah. And one more thing, if you enjoy what we're doing and you like our videos, please consider checking out our Patreon page, where for as little as a couple of dollars a month, you have access to backstage content and regular Q&A sessions. And if you have any questions about this renovation, this bathroom or whatever else here at the Chateau, there's still time to become a member of our Patreon team for the Q&A session next week. So check it out. We're going to leave a link in the description. Thank you so much again for watching and see you next week. Yeah.